You have to hear it to believe it, but you shouldn't. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Rad, are you familiar with the old saying, you're so full of crap it's coming out of your ears? I'm familiar with the more vulgar version of that. Well, today uh, we're gonna be putting crap into your ears. And uh. by crap, no, by crap I mean illusions in the form of audio. You never know on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking audio illusions. It's time to feel confusion from these audio, audio. illusions. Okay, Red, I'm gonna run you through a battery of audio illusions where your ears are going to trick your brain and you're gonna, you, it may be confusing, it may be fun, you also can experience it. Well, um, I love tricks, I love sound, and I love to check, be confused. Check, check. I, I love knew, all of it. I knew all of this. If you love those things, you'll need speakers, and then for the last one, you will need headphones. Mm. All right, we have brought in some huge speakers so that you can experience the phantom words illusion. Again, uh, it works best with speakers for you, too. I'm gonna play a word or phrase for you from an existing experiment created by Dr. Diana Deutsch of UCSD hmm. that is split up by panning half of the word or phrase all the way to the right and then the other half all the way to the left. So uh, each half will mix in the air and then mix in your ears and in your brain. Oh gosh. So then y your brain is going to try to decipher it. So I just want you to sit right in the middle, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and then just relax, you know, you don't have to overthink this. Sit right in the middle there and tell me what you hear when the track is up. Hit it. All right. Uh, All right, move back over here. Tell me what you heard. That was exhilarating. Um, at first I heard no I no I no I no I no I no I no and then oh, I heard that's not a word. Like like or like, like telling a baby like no I like, if okay, you, like that's a, a mom phrase. who didn't know how to tell a kid, didn't know the word for cry. And did it shift to something else? No way! <laughs> no way, 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 no <laughs> way. No way, okay. Um, people do hear that. They also hear window. I'm curious what you heard. Send, send it to me through the internet. Oh, some people heard love me, right. run away, no brain, rainbow, raincoat, or even bueno. Bueno? Mm-hmm. Hmm. You want to know what it was actually? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh. it, it, she didn't reveal oh, what Deutsch, it was. The Deutschster. <laughs> she she <laughs> pulled a Deutsch on us. <laughs> yeah, the old Deutsch. Which is pretty frustrating. Um, Dr. But Deutsch. The, the point is that your um, your brain wants to make sense of nonsense, even though ironically there is actually a word in there that's not revealed. Uh, when it's reduced to a palette of sounds, uh, it's called the the process is called. Pareidolia. It's similar oh. to when you look at a cloud and you might see a fire truck and I see Demi Lovato. You make sense of it, yeah. yeah you make sense of it. Um, but I was frustrated in not knowing the answer so I created a few more. So move back to the center and these are our, uh, our homemade phantom words, okay? So play the first one. No 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 What did you hear in that one? Nyochi? All right, let's play that a mispronounce a mispronouncing of gnocchi. Give me the nochi. Oh that's not I love that potato pasta. That's right. How how do you say it? Gnocchi. Oh, no, just kidding. Okay, so play it slower, let's reveal the actual answer. No chin, 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 no. You trying to say something about me? I do have a chin. It's called a beard. Yeah. All right, all right. Here's another one we made. So beautiful. See if you can identify this one. Psoriasis. What? No. Real the answer here. Psoriasis. Psoriasis. Yeah, psoriasis. psoriasis. Why are you pointing out on my flaws, man? <laughs> Point out some of my assets. I think you're hearing your flaws. You're projecting. What else could that be? It said psoriasis. <laughs> you're right. 
All right, here's the third one, but you know what? Since you're catching on, let's just skip to the slow one. It's a good thing you can't have any more kids. It's a good thing you can't have any more kids. It's a good thing you can't have any more kids. That is a good thing. You can't have any more kids. Nothing to be ashamed about with that. All right, we having fun? Let's, yeah. Let's do another one. This one's called the speech to song illusion. Whoa. Again, we are using speakers. You, uh, you can use anything you want for this one. Uh, just listen to this clip and tell me if it turns into a song for you. Okay. The sounds as they appear to you are not only different from those that are really present, but they sometimes behave so strangely as to seem quite impossible. But they sometimes behave so strangely they sometimes behave so strangely. Sometimes behave so strangely. Sometimes behave so strangely. Yeah, I did, mean, did it become song? Yeah, I, I mean, I think part of this has to do with the fact that like loops are so popular that they've been musicified before. But her, she has a very sing-songy voice. Yeah, music. What, what did she say? Sometimes behave so, so strangely. Strange. Sometimes <laughs> behave it's like Mary so Poppins. strangely. But it. I mean, I think it is still more songified in your brain than it is in the real world. And there's some science behind this. Um, again, if you isolate a spoken phrase and loop it, it begins to sound like a song, assuming that neural circuitries underlying speech and song are at some point distinct and separate. Yeah, ways like, that like you, mine. Ways that you process in your brain. Repetition can actually shift your brain over from the speech perceptual circuitry. Whoop, over to the song perceptual circuitry. Because once you understand transferring it to music. What, what's being said, then you can start thinking about the notes because mm. I'm making notes as I speak right now. I'm just making the same note over and over again. But it changes well, a little bit. Some, she had intonation. I'm a little bit. But again, I think the theory of the illusion is that it's going even further. And I wanted to see if we could do this with an intro from Good Mythical Morning. So okay. uh, let's play that. Today we find out which hot dog is the top dog. Let's talk about that. Which hot dog is the top dog? 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 Which hot dog Which is the top dog? Which hot dog is the top dog? That's me. See, I'm, I mean, I have a sing songy voice. It's very pleasant. <laughs> but to really land this one, uh, we have another version. Which hot dog is the top dog? 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 Me! Which hot dog is the top dog? Me! Which hot dog? No, we're both great. What? Remember? <laughs> yeah, we're both great. Yeah. Uh, missed the opportunity. I still haven't quite gotten that. Yeah. We give that to the Gregory brothers and they can take it all the way. Right. Okay, throw on your cans for this one. It is the 3D sound illusion. I am going to give you the experience auditorially of being, having your hair cut by a barber. Oh. Put them on and play it. Welcome to the Starkey Cetera Barbershop oh. and your virtual haircut. Now, as I begin the clipping, oh, I've got to have bring the headphones on. closer to your ear. Very close to the right ear. Follow me as I move around the back of the uh, head. Do you have a reference for how I want this to look? Ear. You can get the same effect better with the electric razor. I'll first bring it close to your right ear. Why does he talk like Mario? Perfect. And around the back. It really. And onto your left. Mm hmm. Ah, yeah. I think that looks so wonderful. Well, I never thought I, d I didn't want. I know I did not want Mario to cut my hair. But. Um, now you really know that? The, it, I it, meant to tell you to close your eyes. That helps the experience a little bit, but how was it for well, you? Well, no, it was, it was more than just he was on the right and the left. He was literally behind me, like moving in a U. Behind my behind my head. Right, it's interesting. Obviously, they use um, volume and balance and panning between your right and left ears, but they also alter the arrival times of sounds between your right and left ear to help you believe spatial relationships in the location of the barber right. or the clippers or whatever the case may be. This was created by Q Sound Labs back in 1996. Oh, yeah, sounded like a 96 so, thing. So it's, yeah. it's, it's got some vintage-ness yeah. to it. Uploaded to YouTube in 2007. 25 million views, though, so you can't... Really? Yeah, so I wow. think I think back in the day this was like blowing people's minds, but I've created a new one to blow your mind. I wanted to take you back to an actual experience we had our freshman year in high school. It's a story we told on your biscuits. Uh, maybe you'll remember it as as we step through this thing. You want me to close my eyes? Uh, yeah, I would. I would definitely close your eyes for this one. 
Hey, Red, it's me, Link. I'm standing on your left. Now I'm standing on your right. And your left. Now you're right. Now you're right again. Ha, fooled you. You thought I was gonna be on your left, didn't you? Okay, let's get on with it. We're in the eighth grade. We're at a party at a friend's house. It's the 90s, so there's some totally tubular 90s music in the background. Now we're walking through the house. You notice there's a room, a special room. You turn around and say, Hey, Link, I found a special room. You open the door. When I realize what kind of room it is, I whisper in your right ear and say, It's a kissing room. There's a bunch of people kissing in this room, but there are two girls who aren't kissing anyone. It's Anna and Amber. Mm. Amber calls out. Ooh, Red, come and sit by me. Ooh, la la. And then Anna calls out. Ooh, Link, come and sit by me. Merci beaucoup. So we sit with these girls. Anna takes a big swig of Sprite. I don't remember that. (laughs) You look over at Amber and see she's taking a big bite out of an apple. I don't remember that either. There was no apple involved. You likey. We've both never wanted to make out more in our lives. Not with each other, with yeah. girls. Good thing I practiced kissing on the wall in my shower. Mm. Really? Shower. Mm. I tilt my head left and go in for the kiss. Oh gosh. <laughs> So unpleasant. I was. I don't remember. At some point during my kiss, I open my eyes and look at you, and you're looking right back at me. You're making out with Amber over here. Look at us, (laughs) pimps. And I'm making out with Anna over here. That's how it happened, man. And we're staring at each other, and you're thinking, "This is pretty cool, man." Oh gosh, this is so not true to life. Ugh. I also used to practice kissing the bedpost. My mom would walk in and catch me sometimes. Man, That's what? exactly how it happened. Why did you confess? You didn't have to confess so many awkward things. <laughs> I don't know, I just got on a roll. That's what happens with audio illusions. You get freed. <laughs> I, I learned some stuff. I don't know how much scientific stuff I learned. I learned some stuff about you, but I guess it, It's too late, we're best friends now. (laughs) Well, you were there, and you can't deny it. Yeah, I was. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Andrew. And we're from Long Beach, California. But we're here at the Gum Wall in Seattle, Washington. And it's it's time time to to spin spin the the wheel of mythicality. mythicality. If you like sound as much as we do, you're gonna love our podcast, Ear Biscuits, available wherever podcasts are found, also on our This Is Mythical YouTube channel. And click through the Good Mythical More, we're gonna do the Whisper Challenge, y'all. Woo-wee! <laughs> Woo, we're so excited about Woo, it! Woo, doggy! <laughs> Whoa! Gift to Cality! That means we're donating $1,000 to save the children to aid in their mission to create a world where every child is able to live a safe, full, beautiful life through global humanitarian work. Please join us in giving at savethechildren.net. Thank you for being your mythical best. Yes. Thanks for clicking subscribe. Click on the left to watch the show after the show, Good Mythical More. Click on the right to watch another episode of Good Mythical Morning. And be sure to check out our other channel, This Is Mythical, by clicking the video on the bottom. Thanks for being your mythical best.